Hey, I am clinical psychologist. Whether it's a complicated romantic relationship or a toxic one with a family, there are times when you just have to let go. We all have experienced relationships that felt too involved or emotionally draining. These unhealthy relationships can be draining both mentally and physically. Some time detaching from them is the best way to take care of your mental health and well-being. There are several reasons that you may need to detach from a relationship. If there is a physical or verbal abuse, if the relationship is causing you under stress and anxiety, if you have noticed a change in your mood when around that person, these are just some of the reasons that why it may be the time to consider detaching yourself emotionally from that thing. But whatever the reason, understanding that why you need to detach and how to do it can help you to move out in a way that's best for you. What is detachment? There are a couple of ways to think about detachment. It can mean avoiding certain people or situations that are causing you stress and anxiety which can sometimes lead to emotional numbing or the damping of emotions or it can also building or maintaining the boundaries to preserve your mental health. By setting the clear boundaries in your relationship you can avoid the feeling of stress, anxiety, resentment and disappointment that often build up when limits are pushed or ignored. Emotional detachment doesn't mean that you aren't able to feel, or you lack emotions, nor does it mean that you lack empathy. While emotional detachment can be a symptom of depression, volunteer detachment isn't an indication that you have depression. Rather, it's about building healthy boundaries to make your expectations clear and establish that what behavior is comfortable for you and what is not. Here are 15 ways that how you can emotionally detach from someone you love. Explore your opinions thoughtfully. Before reaching the point of the emotional detachment, communication is an essential step to determine your course of action. Talk to the person in question, your friends or a therapist about how the relationship is affecting you. Getting feedback from others will help you to ensure that you are making the best decision for your well-being as opposed to impulsively cutting someone out of your life. Now your goal is to become emotionally detached from someone you have loved. You first need to take some time to evaluate that what your relationship with them so far. When you do this right, you can become enlightened about several things, which may help to solidify your decision to distance yourself from them. Remove them from an emotional pedestal. If you are looking to detach from someone you love like an ex-spouse, favorite sibling or a best friend, it's going to be a very painful process, but remember that distancing can still be done with affection. Holding them and your past beloved memories with tenderness while also understanding that may now have a different set of behavior and values that no longer match up with your own. Bringing objectivity to the way you view them allow them to still be in your life, although their presence doesn't have to loom large in your life. And the most importantly, feel your emotions. Maybe you're looking to get over your breakup or maybe crush or hook up that you still see around. Don't diminish your feeling by not allowing yourself to be sad. It's normal to be disappointed, and the longer you deny your feeling, the longer you will keep thinking about them. Let yourself grief that it couldn't work out and reflect on it. And reframe the connections so that you can still talk to them without feeling knocked off balance. Ask all the critical and difficult questions. You would have to carry out this step during the self-introspection stage of this. When you evaluate your relationship with your partner, Critically look at things and determine precisely that how well the relationship has sparred before now. Ask all these questions like you need to answer, including determining whether or not your friend has prioritized you as much as you have prioritized them, have they made compromises at specific points for the relationship to keep blooming, or it's only you that are all the efforts. And after this session of questions and answers, you find out that the relationship has been one-sided. You may want to consider moving on quickly. Define new boundaries moving forward. Everything you have done so far may ultimately become a waste if you do not take some time to set clear and new boundaries. Regarding your interaction with them, what things would you no longer pay no heed to? Are the scenarios you expect them to make some effort in as well? Define these parameters clearly. Yeah. When you have done this, you must have heart to heart with them, especially if you do not want to break off the relationship abruptly. Communication at this stage is vital. Maintain your distance from the person. If you wish to detach yourself from the person, it's better to cut off all ties with them, which means not talking to them or deleting their contact information. If you wish to be friends with them, it's better to do that after you take a break from them. Because if you instantly try to be friends with them, it will bring you and the other person a lot of emotional pain. However, if you are married, it's important to keep your distance and only have short conversations. 
Another thing that can help you to detach from someone is taking a break from social media, you know. Even Selena Gomez recommends this to the youngsters. It's better to unfollow or remove that particular person from your social media when you know that they have certain amounts of effect on you. It can be hard to have them on your feet when you miss them or have just parted ways with them. Other than this, you can keep yourself away from social media for a while by uninstalling all the apps or spending a limited amount of time on them as looking at other people and what they post can also trigger a lot of emotions. Confine in others who support you or you trust. When you are not able to see things clearly and are doubting yourself, it's better to talk to someone you trust and can have an open conversation with. Rely on people who will make you understand the whole situation in a better way and will support your decision to take a break rather than nag you about it. Confined in people who you know will understand you and won't do anything to make you feel bad about yourself. Commit to never going back. Soon enough, the partner you have just separated yourself from may become calling. They may somehow find you on social media and drop the random, I would love to catch up here and there. You don't want to fall for those tricks. Depending on who they are, your ex-partner may come clean and tell you that they want to get back together with you. They may even begin to show you how much they have changed. While they may have changed, you don't want to place a bet on that. It's best you walk away, never look back. And remember to take small steps towards your new life. When it comes to starting your life from scratch, you don't have to rush yourself to do everything in a day. Divide your day with tasks that you might make you happy, and even if you do half of them, celebrate yourself. Even if it's as small as waking up and making yourself a cup of tea, that's a win. You don't have to reach zero or a 100 instantly. Doing zero or three is good too. Reconnect with your inner child. When you are hurt and part ways with someone you love, one thing that can help you is reconnecting with your inner child and showering them with love and care they always wanted. We tend to forget about our needs and our inner child when we are hurt. Even though just doing something that we liked as a kid or spending time with them without any thoughts or worries can make them happy and present in the moment, try not to think too hard to make yourself happy and invest in doing simple things. It might take your attention away from the hurt and pain you are feeling. Set personal growth goals. As you detach emotionally from someone, use this opportunity to focus on your personal growth and development. Set specific goals for yourself, whether related to your career, education, hobbies, or fitness. Channeling your energy into self-improvement can not only boost your self-esteem but also provide a sense of purpose and fulfillment independent of your previous attachment to that person. Seek professional help. If you think it's necessary, you may want to enlist the help of a professional. Depending on the nature of the relationship you are trying to get off, a professional counselor can help you with sessions ranging from mental health rehab sessions or they may even teach you more about detachment and how to maximize the process. If you need a bit of hand-holding as you learn how to detach from someone you love, getting expert help may be the way to go. If you need a bit of hand-holding as you learn how to detach from someone you love, Getting expert help may be the way to go.